Hello everybody, um, so today we're going to talk about liver disease. Um, we see quite a lot of liver disease around this area um, and as a horse owner it's very unlikely that you're going to suspect that your horse has actually got liver disease. We often, um, if you like, stumble upon liver disease um, through investigations for other reasons. So you may have noticed that your horse maybe has lost weight or is maybe not quite as bright as it used to be. Um, but it would be quite rare for, for us to actually go to see a horse and actually suspect this is probably liver disease. Um, uh, unless there was some obvious history of eating ragwort, for example, or, or some other history of exposure. So, in terms of how we investigate liver disease and what we do if we, if we find out that a horse may have it, um, the most obvious initial test that we do is our blood tests, and very often from our blood tests we will identify that certain liver enzymes are elevated. But if we want to actually know what's causing the problem, or at least get a better sense of what's causing the problem and how badly the liver is affected, then, as you can imagine, the same with any other organ, if we want to know what's going on inside it, then we have to take a piece of that organ um, and send it off for analysis and biopsy.